tie guys today. Very simple. We're going to talk about four shoulder drills you have to be doing or you should be doing in the gym before you train, whether it's upper body or lower body, it doesn't matter. You're going to need it for all movement patterns. And if you can do this all day, you're probably the best off. But here are four of the drills. The first drill, called wall slides, you've probably seen these are wall angels. Uh, now most people do this very, very incorrectly. They just hyperextend their lower back, they torque butt, they try the best they can to reach up the wall. But we're going to focus on making sure that your lower back is on the wall. So it should be here and not here while you're on that wall. So be strict about it. So I'm going to tuck my butt underneath me, make sure my lower back's down. My rib cage is packed down a little bit, but I'm focusing more on kegeling than anything else. I'm going to pull up to my kegel, just lifts my spine, and position. Now most of y'all have problems even getting here, okay? So only go where you're comfortable. I'm going to start here, chin's tucked a little bit, I'm going to inhale on the way up. Exhale. If that's too hard, just go out the side. Until you build up that strength to begin to come upward with your movement. Okay, that's wall slides. I recommend doing this, like, in all honesty, like eight to 10 rounds of 10 reps a day, you know, because you're having to undo so much of these terrible movement patterns. You can't expect yourself to get in the gym and be like this. Okay, so it feels terrible. So that's number one. Number two, something called wall flexion taps, okay? Do a wall flexion tap, depending on your mobility, Either have your thumbs pointing back, which is easier, or palms facing back, which is a little harder, okay? So if you do a wall flexion tap, the same rules apply. Lower back down, chin's tucked, and you're ready to go. You're gonna be reaching up. I'll do the easy version first. Thumbs reach back, I'm gonna keep reaching, reaching, reaching. Now I have to really make doubly sure that this stays down. I'm not hyper extending, so I'm here, reach, reach, reach. Hit. Okay, back and forth. Once that gets really easy for you, then start to challenge it. Make sure your palms are facing back. It's a little harder to hold. Low backs down, I'm gonna hold, hold, hold. And back down and repeat. I would try to do about 10 reps here as well, 10 by 10 throughout the day. And then if you really want to challenge, step it up. Third drill is a hold. Okay, so all you do is get, get back up there and hang out. Abs down, reach, abs down, reach. You're focusing on driving your blades back. Blades, blades, blades. You're really focusing on your blades. You want that middle back to be on fire. I'll try to hold it for a minute if you can. It's too hard, start with 30 seconds. And build up to six to seven rounds a day. Okay, the last, rep, the last uh, movement pattern I want you to focus on is called prone ISO. With a prone ISO, find a bench or a stool. Uh, and what you're focusing on doing here is being prone first. So you're on your stomach. It's better right here, maybe. On your stomach. And when you're doing a prone ISO, you're going to set up with your head over. And then I want your arms to be out to the side. Okay. Once you get your arms out, you're going to tuck your chin. Pull your abs in here, too, as well. And come out directly out to the side. Now, you don't want to be internally rotated here. So you have to lead with your middle back. So when you come up, your, your middle back, your blade should be moving together into your spine before you even begin to lift up. So I'm here, my mid back's already moving before I come up, and then tuck my chin and hold. If you start straining your neck to bring your body up, you're gonna get a headache. So your focal point is blades. My chin's not even moving much, just tucking a little bit. Blades. That's it, my head barely moves. I'm just hanging out here and holding this ISO hold. I'd push for a minute, try to go about six to seven rounds here as well a day, or just add it into your warm up. You know, between every set you do, throw in one of these movements. And I promise you, you'll get better and better at being able to do all your compound lifts, push ups, pull ups, dips, all of the above. For more content like this, y'all, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe. Until next time.